thanks for staying with us. So recently, bread producers and caterers have threatened to withdraw their services nationwide due to the unprecedented increase in bakery materials and the neglect of the federal government to this matter. According to them, the cost of flour, sugar, and other materials used in bakery business has skyrocketed beyond expectations. Now, what are your general thoughts on this? Because this is not only about bread. It's about rice, plantain, eggs, beans, eggs, so many, ba the basic staple of food that we eat in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts on this? Because we'd like to open our phone lines to share with us your own experience because this show is across the country. So we'd like to hear from different people from different parts of this country. How have food prices within your area? Call us on 0812705 You can tweet to us at TVC Connect. Please hashtag your view TVC to get your tweet. You know, I'm laughing because, <laughs> you know, in my own house, the structure is that my husband handles everything else except for food. I handle food, so I do food. So recently, you know, we have carpenters working in our new house and everything. So this carpenter is a very difficult carpenter to get. So we got the carpenter. My husband wanted to make them stay. He now instructed the help. You must make them breakfast. You must make them dinner. You know, you must feed them. So every day, they, she'll come to me and ask for my son. Mm, he's the one that wants to keep carpenter. Please go and collect money from him. This guy, when, when he heard, when, when they were collecting money for food, he said, Mariah, is that how much you use for food? Meaning, ah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> he was shocked every single day how much she was collecting from him to make food for these people. Yeah. And there are four men. Hmm. Four adults. So, four adults. Four adults. Four like adults. adults. Eggs. Like adults. adults. They'll buy adults. pepe, they'll do everything. <laughs> he was like, Mariel, how much do you feed us? And I gave him the, I said, ah, thank you for asking me. <laughs> Here it is. I gave him the document. This is how much I spent on food. He was shocked. So, how are you guys surviving? Let me go start with you. The bread. Bread is a staple. Everybody buys bread. Yeah, don't use These guys bread. are saying it might become a thousand naira. I was in this country when bread was 200 naira. Uh -huh. From 200 to 250. Long it became long. 400. Now it's about it was 600. 400 for so long. I remember I would say, go on. Your change is 600 naira. From when she was about three years old. Gufran is nine now. See what they are selling bread as. Me, I'm not eating bread again. How about the so children? Do not eat and survive not eating bread. Can your children you know survive? what my children do? They are very selective. So sometimes you just have to be very proactive as a parent. My children can buy a long loaf of bread. Take two, take two each, and that's okay. And you come back three days, bread don't spoil. Uh, uh, we don't want to eat blessed. bread again. What? We don't want to eat bread again. I have to see them. It's a lot. This food, do you people want to waste? You know, for long, my rabbit was the one saving us the bread waste. He stopped eating that in front of me. Was it in bread? <laughs> so, okay. me, I don't rabbit know. Rabbit that she kills, so. Yeah. Uh, the one that I chop. My own, my children will have dinner, maybe a bath, maybe around 6 p.m. Mm. Once I come in with bread, they, they must eat it. that. They'll finish one whole. They'll I level. buy three, I, I, I buy three loaves every, okay. like, that's, that's how much you do. Okay. In the day, and we buy it every two, two days. Okay. Yeah. Three loaves, and it finishes. Well, and the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> so they're saying that this one loaf might be a thousand naira very soon if the federal government doesn't intervene. Um, so I, I can actually empathize with um, bread um, makers and bakers because and the, cost, and caterers, the cost of flour has gone up. Many of them need to store food and they're yeah. storing with diesel generator hmm. because there's no light. They buy their cold products and it has to be kept. If not, it will get spoiled. So Nigeria has happened to them. Mm. And for them to remain in business, they need to transfer that. I've been want to stop saying that. Yeah. They we need to stop yeah, saying that. Nigeria is a good thing that will Nigeria is a good thing that will happen to us. Because yeah. let's, let's throw out the positive. Yeah. So I, let us, I yes, let us. So um, they, they now have to throw that expense on their, on their goods. Um, we cannot deny that food stuff have become very expensive. I'm one that I'm not wired to check what is in the house. I'm not. I... I, I, I grew up with having to not having enough. So in my mind, I'm like, I don't want to be measuring food for people that are mm. living in my house. Um, but it is biting. Mm. Like you would, mm -hmm. the, there's one minute it's Pepe has finished. I'm like, we just bought 10,000 naira. Like, what are we doing? What are we cooking? How many are mm. we in the house? Yeah. Now that like Pepe has finished again. Mm. Now there's no more fish in the house. All the meat has finished. And I'm wondering what, are, what is going on exactly? Mm. And... It is, it, it, it's now, my, my mindset is, I want to just increase my income. Just yeah. go and make more money. You cannot say they should not eat. Mm. You cannot say they should not eat, but you cannot say you cannot buy them bread. Mm -hmm. Your goal is to just you know, hustle and make more money. I'll come to you because it's, it's such a, because I have a habit of having a budget. And you guys already know I have a budget. So my help came to me last weekend that milk is finished. I said, okay, 
you're going to have to manage between now and next weekend because the next shopping in this house is in July. I shop twice a week, the first week in the month. Twice a month. Twice, I shop twice a month. So this last week of June, you would manage no milk. You would take a uh, bed, 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 everybody, plus two, everybody must manage this week till Friday. I mean, the, end, the month ends in, uh, on Thursday. We'll go shopping yeah, next week, Saturday. Your adults, not the children. The children, all of them will be all right. Yeah, they uh, they'll be all right. One week without one milk, week they'll there. be fine. I told my husband, I am not so shopping. So what do they take? take them. So they'll take the ogi with uh -huh. sugar alone. Okay. Take, you take your, your, your Quaker oats without milk, with yeah, sugar. That is open. <laughs> you take, you take, you, well, you, you, I don't buy cereal anymore, because cereal finishes in two days. So I don't even buy cereal anymore. You take your bread and tea, but you have the, the beverage with the, without the milk. Oh, but my, my help, who is a very kind-hearted person, from her small pocket money, she goes down to the madam to go and buy 100 naira sashi because mommy's not going to buy the tin milk mm -hmm. because she's about mom and auntie i bought sashi for the children that's your business for your own best for, for, for some money that's it no, but this week we, from i am not buying no, until, because we have to budget these things we can't keep just eating and drinking anyhow do you, do you not have great admiration for how you budget your household um especially shopping. grocery yeah. shopping and i learned a lot from you because before for me it's, it's food it's just food just buy it. If it's finished, you go and get it. But it makes a lot of sense that a lot of our money, our budget goes towards food. And if you don't regulate, if you don't pay attention to it, you know, monies that could go into reinvesting that can make you even more money for the food you'd have put in exactly. into eating it. So I think it's a it's a good thing. But I know with my husband we argue. My husband would never want to listen to that. There's a there's a no three milk. days no milk. <laughs> Why? I mean, That's how dare you or you so put like me, I grew up, when you are eating beans then, when I didn't know better, when they said beans was protein, if you are eating beans, you don't eat, you necessarily eat protein. meat. You cannot do that in Mr. Longer's house. Yeah. How? Every kind of food, there must be meat or fish or something, yeah. you can, especially with the children. But I think it's important that, especially that things are tight um, everywhere, maybe the conversation really would be, what are the decisions that we can be making right now in our yeah. homes to sort of help tide us over. Yeah. But the reality right now, globally, so this is not just a Nigerian problem. Yes. When we say Nigerian happens to people, Thank it's a me. global problem. And it's also life. There used to be a time when we, I was in secondary school, I think we used to buy um, Gary for five naira. Mm. <laughs> five naira. I'm sure some people have never even seen the five naira mm -hmm. notes. Mm -hmm. So it just, times will keep changing. <laughs> and then the thing is, how do I earn more income? Yeah. How do I manage properly what the income I already have to help me, you know, have more or better for next? So, but that's it. Prioritizing Just like... within your household with your own reality is very, very important. What I cannot mistakenly do, I can take away bread. I do that all the time. I take away the noodles, take away the bread, all those, all those unnecessariness. I take them away. But my house, not a minute without milk. Because you see these two children, <laughs> they are milk children. Mm. They are constantly, <laughs> as in they are loading, that's, that's what they eat more. So they, one, one is on the liquid, the other one is on cereal. That's what they eat. Me as their mother, I'm drinking my Gary. So priorities is what you need most, what they all eat mm. that you focus on and how affordable it is. R Rodo recently, sorry, this, um, what you call the, what would you call Shambo again in English? Oh, um, the cayenne pepper. Yeah, the long one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's now four for 100 naira. Say it in Shombos. Shombo. That's what we know. Yeah. It's four for 100 naira, as in they put it. And they, and they said it was scarce. So I said, okay, don't worry, I'll go to my 12 and get it. But I will now... Oh, it's jalapenos. It. I was saying cayenne, yeah. jalapenos. Okay. So I will do it only four for. And that's the one that works for my diet. In case some people don't believe my diet, I don't eat the other forms of pepper. That one works well for me. So you prioritize only what your, your spouses eat. For instance, myself and my husband will eat the normal uh, bar, the regular food, mm. and my son. My daughter would not. So here is your option. Here is the other option. Any other thing, mm. no wastage. I cut it down. I constantly cut. We have a timetable. I have a timetable in my house. And so if I, you have plans, you have to let me know. <laughs> yeah, me, I, me, I don't even have, well, I'm because you there's might no be room for your, your house. <laughs> no, no, because we know each other's yeah. nature now. I'm planning along their nature. What I know, this one will never waste. What this one will never waste. And then you are visiting. So with this one that bread has increased, and I'd like to really hear, let our viewers get into the conversation. And how do you plan? If one loaf of bread is a thousand naira, I mean, mm. in my house, I buy three loaves. Hey. But, but grandma, but my grandma, Momo and grandma have traveled to, to Ikiti. Okay. They, they went about two weeks ago. So they've gone for, just like, just to go and check the house. Yeah. So my house is reduced. I have, I now have about, I think, well, it used to be 11, 11 minus 2. 
That's nine, nine. nine of us left in the house now. So we can still manage. And so, but I buy that every two days because ah. the kids are constantly. Well, Elizabeth can finish like. Like eight slices, yeah. like right. That's, as, as, that's as, exactly the number. As, <laughs> so they say it's like a case of is, if if they take we, chunks. we cannot, we can't take. It won't go around three people. Eight, eight, eight. The bread. I have four kids. Yeah, so no. it's like what, what I would hear about Oimbo people then is after the Second World War, things were so tight. A lot of people used to have to make their food, make their bread, sew mm -hmm. their clothes. So I don't know. We may have to start thinking of all okay, these bread. things that we we give out to people and pay them. We will start thinking of how we make them for ourselves. Bread. People will have to start thinking of making, making bread so, for so yourself. Yeah, yeah, you still have to buy the become, materials. It's yam has also become so expensive. Yes, because and yam oh, is yam, an alternative oh, to bread for me. Mm. Yam potatoes, they are alternative. They become so expensive. Somebody sold five hundred potatoes, uh, five hundred naira potatoes for me and gave me four. <laughs> let's break it. Sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes. Yeah, sweet potatoes. Uh, wow. Let's break it down. How much? See the thing you gave me. You know, I stood there and continued to haggle. I did not let him go. Yam too. If you yeah. don't buy, what about crate of eggs? Two thousand. Yes. Oh. Ah. I bought crate of egg in this Lagos at seven hundred naira. Yes. It's, now it's about a thousand naira. Or two thousand. Two thousand one hundred. Yes. Imagine that. Because I know that my egg supplier. I remember when he said, "Oh, sorry, the prices have changed. It's now two thousand. In two weeks, it's like, what? Oh, sorry, please, it's now two one." So people, let me take John. John from Switzerland. John, how are, the, the, how are things? Just shifting. Just yes. shifting. Well, you know, <laughs> good morning, John. Are you there? Good You're live. Go ahead, please. Yeah, um, yes, this topic is a very big topic. Uh, globally, this flower issue has gotten so, yeah. so bad. Uh, yes, we both over here, it is really, really very bad. And as we, can, as, as we know, mm -hmm. our country, Nigeria, usually imports. And uh, the problem is, you know, there's no, there's no flower. Because most people are not important anymore. The Russian, the Ukraine... Uh, if you also is affecting because these people are basically mm -hmm. in the, the production of the wheat, flour, and the all that. So, yeah, that's true. Really, the rainbow bread over there has increased a lot. Wow. Has Interesting. A lot. So, 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 so it's not just in Nigeria, that's what you're saying. He's in Switzerland. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's good to know. Yeah, he's right. But the only sad thing about Nigeria is that what happened just compounded an already bad situation. Mm -hmm. That oh, things that have been close. able... Yes. Ordinary... Um, the whole manufacturing uh, industry is just so... Pastries. Yeah, I mean, usually when I go to a certain office, I try to go take a few things with them with me. Before I used to buy it, there was a time it was 200 naira, 300. How much is it now? It's, the paper was 500 naira. Mm -hmm. Donut, basic donut is yeah. 400 bucks. Good. Mm. Wow. So you yeah. think it's yourself. You can't just snack on these yeah. things anymore. No, now you just like eat proper food. So, yeah. Let's in the morning and then <laughs> wait till night. Dress yeah. <laughs> it says bread is 800 naira in Lugbe Abuja. Beans, that's a Derika. Okay. 750 naira. Wow. Rice, local rice, Derika, is 1,000 naira. I'm selling local rice 30,000 naira. Mm. Now, at a struggle to make profit. Um, Habiba says... The causes of high food prices are the farmers find it very difficult to buy farm inputs. Prices of herbicides, tractors, and transport are unimaginable. Mm. Add insecurity warehouse, to that. A whole. Warehouse owners, these are set of rich people who hoard grains and sell at high prices. Okay. So um, they're the real issues. Yes. Yeah, so Andrew says, mm, we should pray that the war in Ukraine is won by Ukraine because now Russia, they block Ukraine ports. That's why our flour is expensive in Nigeria and bread is getting expensive because flour can't come. Mm. But the real problem, just as Mariam said, is that we, we have closed our um, factories, our, you know, our mm. manufacturing as... Why can't we produce our flour here? Mm. Why can't we secure our own farms? Just as this issue of the, you know, the economic issue of gas and diesel is happening, it's because we, that we have the crude, we don't have the refinery. Mm -hmm. It's our own long-term uh, sleeping on duty that has cost us all of this. I've been laxing. Dr. Omoregi from Abuja. Good morning, are you there? Thanks for having me. You're uh, live. Yeah, yeah. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, sir. Good morning. I appreciate your program. I watch you. Good morning to all of you. Thank you, sir. And I uh, just want to, uh, you know, especially what one of you said there. It's, uh, we need our mothers to start educating their homes on food rationing. We are facing difficult challenges, global, global food challenge. We're not exempted from the pains of the global moment as a country, but we need our parents to start telling their children what food ration means. Mm -hmm. Like, you have enough uh, protein, you ration it, you make sure that you stick to one line of protein, not meat, fish, and all in beans at the same time, for example. 
So we need to avoid this culture of educating our children in food rationing. That's the only way we can Thank do. you very much. In fact, what he said reminded me because on Sunday, we make jello fries on Sundays. So my son was there, you know, drinking water, not leaving his food, walking to playing around. I said, Uncle, you will finish this food. I sat down next to him because I cannot see you waste that food. Yes. Mm. So you will finish it's every single back. grain because it, 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 these are not the times where we can waste yeah, food anymore. Yeah, yeah. You know, and, okay. and, and it's so important to what's that teaching our children because as I said in my house, I have a timetable. We already know what's going to what we're cooking unless maybe something happens, I want to change it. But everybody knows clearly. So if there's no sweet potatoes for Monday school, we buy it over the weekend. We know what it is. And everybody knows that yes. this sweet potato, we're keeping it for Monday. You so, can't just take up on Sunday evening. Oh, I feel like it is a potato. Can I? Yeah. No, you cannot. Because the timetable says on Monday, you're taking that to school. So you, you go and find something else. Really? So maybe, and your other people, they follow that. We follow it. So I have a timetable. I have a timetable. So, time table. so <laughs> let me tell you what I do. There's a breakfast for the whole, for the children. Mm. Okay. And there's breakfast for dad in the morning, what he does. Mm. Afternoon, the kids, the afternoon belt is only for the children. Yeah. Adults, Everybody, we don't eat in the afternoon, yeah, please. So no adults eat so because everybody has gone to work. Mm -hmm. Dinner, we all do. So the kids' afternoon lunch is different. So the, the lady knows to make the children's lunch early in the day. Based on, so you see potatoes. I'm just how I'm is going a, to, you see that I'm quiet. I don't is, know how I'm going to eat. I don't worry, I'll help you. Mara is very good. I'll, I'll help yeah, you with that. Have uh, have uh, no, because they can't eat me, Lori. Because I have, what I do also, I have a, my, my, one of my, I have a card, a bank card, which I give to my, Anybody knows that that's the card, that's the house card. Yes. So I have my other banks. I so that I put my money after I get my salary. I, I take my, I remember after tied, move mm -hmm. everything. I, I put that one, one but and I give it to them. When it finishes, I, I reload the. Yeah, no, I don't reload because they all know what the budget is. Hmm. So you are right. The money goes up hmm. because when I was, before I got married, I, I have to keep adjusting the figure. Yeah. Yeah. No, because I because I know that my the amounts in my house are increasing. So yeah. I, the, what I, I'll tell you the figure when we're going to break. <laughs> what I spend now is different from what I used to spend last year, last year, two years. Because you have to keep changing it. When we talk about wastage, wastage happens too much in my house when you talk about this cereal. So to cop the boxes, I went to buy the sachet one that comes in mm. carton. So madam, this is because madam so for milk. Yeah. No, no for, for cereal. cereal. Okay. Okay. Madam, this is your cereal. cereal. She will take for two days. Oh, you want it. No. That's it. I say in the budget. She will take for two days, she will lose her taste. She'll move to her brother's cereal. And that one never changes the cereal. Since I born it tomorrow, yeah. it's this cereal. They should come and endorse him. I don't so, <laughs> so, but he, she yeah. moves around. So what I did recently, I saw the boxes yeah. I had already purchased. Okay. Three months after, you know they have shelf life, that these things are just lying around. Called her friends. She's doing a gift away. All of you come and collect gifts away mm. and go. <laughs> And you know, they were happy because some for some people they don't even see no cereal. And okay. this child is just here misbehaving. Mm, I have a call from Ade London. Come on, Ade, are you there? Good morning, lady. You're live. Uh, Go ahead, please. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, my advice to I want to give you advice mm -hmm. and Nigerians as well. Uh, my view is this don't ration food for children. We brought the chicken to the world. If they won't make buy meat for them, the way you can cut prices down is that. Do go and cut your hair to low cost. Don't go to party. Don't buy a shoji. So when you cut all this, then put the money on food for the children. Let them yes. grow. Mm. When they are 18, then they can decide for themselves. Yes. So all this, you know how much you spend in the week. How much I do you get in the week? All of this. <laughs> and all you get so, Thank you very much. Yeah. That's a fantastic yes. point. Also, and so you cut down on your own expenses. Yeah, so you can so, so, so stop denying the children of the milk because I, you are buying the latest week. That's not true. <laughs> <laughs> That's not true. Anyway, no, I'm just joking. But I was going to say that um, being things being tough in places like Lagos cities is harder on people than maybe those who live in rural communities. Because I feel that there's food, you know. You can just, when it's I mango season, about. you just get up and get mangoes That's and just eat. I remember as kids, we would just constantly be eating the fruits and vegetables yes. in season. Yes. It wasn't something that, I mean, things were really tough for us, but I didn't think it was so stressful for my parents during the season. So you eat what was in season. Thankfully, my children do not eat cereal. They don't like it. So the milk and whatever cereal will be there for so long to the point that it gets bad. So mm. we even don't bother mm. at all. My son would like to eat A proper blessed. food. So he would eat it his breakfast, he will eat, he does not like to eat in between. Madame, on the other hand, eats, you know, across yeah. board, and I'm trying to work. I told her, I'm like, you're not a little lady. You have to watch how you eat, right. you know, different and she times. Daughter to your house. So my problem is not even the core family, mm -hmm. it's the helps. 
Mm. They don't understand yeah, that. They rush that. And, and, and I find that worrying. The other day I was talking about Matis, you said it's 2022. I don't understand if you come from that background. I, used, I came from that background as well, that you don't understand that when things are tough, you tighten your belt, yeah. but they don't. They a, lot don't of, a lot of um, do that people that live you. around, live, wants, they want to live, they want to eat the way you eat. So maybe you're dishing food that for way. your That's parents. Yeah. You're dishing food for your husband, and you like put because yeah. my husband is um, animalistic, very, very <laughs> animal, fish, everything, and we like I eat once in a day, and that's the truth. He eats just once in a day, but you're eating three times in a day, and you're putting like meat, meat, yeah, meat, meat, meat. No, it's not, it shouldn't Can't work that. that way. Yeah. I, I also feel like when th there's this idea of um, I, I, I would. Treat, I'll be discreet when I'm eating in somebody's house. Yeah. I mean, because I, his respect, I don't want to... Uh, see, you don't want to your whole like mouth and know that your yes. whole mouth, yes. you know? Yes. But we do this thing because I feel they can afford it. So, ah, I'm in a new person's house, so let me quickly eat, eat chicken. Cheese. Let me eat fish. Yeah. Let me eat because it looks like they can afford it, which is wrong. We so I have to wrap up on this, but I got a message that, that saying something about, Mara, don't deny your children. <laughs> Listen, let me just... Because before they make it a major hashtag, I buy the biggest thing. Mm -hmm. it's, like, it's like almost... 12 or 14,000, mm. this big one. Mm. Yes. What I do when I buy that one, we take, we scoop out some, right, and put it into the Ziploc bag. Mm. Mm. And that's, that, that one, you use it for a few weeks. I mean, I measure these things. Yeah. Then, so we have, do so it. I scoop it out, no, because if, if, if I, you leave the whole thing, they finish it, they just keep it. Yeah. When I zip, I now yeah, see, I, zip, maker. I keep, <laughs> I keep it. The Ziploc one, that's what you use. Mm. When it finishes, we open, you give it the other one. Mm. Now, when that whole thing finishes, mm. if you are lucky and it finishes towards the end of the month, I would, <laughs> I mean, it's only a few days. So, exactly. you know, I see I'm denying my children. Let no, me yeah, I'm yeah. saying that this whole, this whole team no is for the month. Yes. Let us manage it. Because they will take Gary to do And you're teaching your children important life skills. important. So they're not getting a new one until next month. So yes, please, it's not cold. Because I'm denying just them. Point. You just eat on this. Now, yeah. unfortunately, if the milk had finished last week, maybe I'll have given them the sachet for okay for the rest of the many two weeks. Yeah. Take sachet just to manage. But I'm not buying a whole another fourteen thousand. You know what? You it's should even do that sachet. You see that sachet thing? When I did, for Madam, I really, really was able you to have any control her. Okay, you guys want to break? <laughs> <laughs> and they did not hear. <laughs> Stay tuned, your view will be right back.